I'm Dan Pacheco. I'm the Chair of Journalism Innovation at the Newhouse School, and I'm here to talk about what we're doing with immersive virtual environments. So I recently started collaborating with Lauren Covington of a uh, local startup called Noir Flux in Syracuse, and uh, we basically use the Oculus Rift, Connect sensors, and some software running on something called VVVV, as well as Unity Pro, to put people into an experience that is very immersive. What you see here is a student in my New Tech for New Media class in a virtual room wearing the Oculus Rift navigating uh, Google Maps, which sounds crazy, but it works. Um, this is uh, Maxwell Antonucci uh, wearing the Rift. He's, when he puts his hand out, there's actually a, a third camera, the Intel Gesture Cam on the top, that uh, allows him to see a point cloud image of his hand. And he's walking through this world, and um, here we've got uh, Valerie Crowder from the same class. And what you see her doing with her hands is she's seeing Google Maps right in front of her, and she can swipe through it. This gives a little bit better view of uh, what, what is happening inside of the software. Those uh, point clouds there um, are her body, and then you can see the green is her head where the rift is, and the red is the center. And as she moves around, um, she's able to manipulate this virtual world. We started to extend this out into the community. We went to the uh, 30th anniversary case a celebration at uh, the Sheraton in Syracuse, and we took about 40 people through this experience. We actually turned part of the ballroom into a holodeck, and it really is like a holodeck because here we're using Unity Pro, which is a 3D gaming engine, uh, what you're seeing here is uh, the stereoscopic image that goes into the rift. And actually, if you were to put your head very close to the screen in front of you, those two images would merge and your mind would be tricked into thinking that uh, they're in three dimensions. The audio is also in 3D. So as you move around, you're hearing the surf. You're hearing uh, some sounds from a forest up behind you. You're hearing uh, the whale, the shuttle. Um, so we're now... Uh, starting to try to figure out how can we tell stories from the real world, maybe import real buildings and, and real physical spaces. So if that's something that you are interested in doing, we are looking for other collaborators. And please get in touch with us. Thanks.